recipe. All right, let's try Daddy's favorite. <laughs> oh God! I wouldn't put more in than you need. It's gross. Ooh. <laughs> At the end of the series, one of the Try Guys will be crowned the ultimate master baker. Oh, I'm just kidding. We're not doing that. That's gross. And this series needs a sponsor. <laughs> The Try Guys are back in the test kitchen for another without a recipe. This week, they're making ice cream. Oh no, oh, we're spilling. Yeah, I'm gonna get some liquor. Each of the Try Guys will have two hours to make an ice cream of their choice and present it to our panel of judges. There's something about this is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Jessica, I'm a marketing consultant, so I kind of judge food for a living. I'm Jamie and I'm qualified to judge ice cream because I'm an 11 year old. I'm Adrian and I make ice cream for a living. I own a company called Wanderlust Creamery and I also hold a bachelor's in food science. So I think I'm pretty qualified to judge ice cream. Oh. I love your ice cream. We didn't know we it was you. Yeah, we didn't know Oh my God. Wanderlust is an artisanal ice cream shop. All of our flavors are inspired by travel. We'll pick a destination that not a lot of people have been to like Croatia and we'll do fig leaf infused ice cream. Something that people haven't heard of before. The wildest flavor we've ever made, we did a flavor made out of salted duck eggs. It's kind of hard to make ice cream without a recipe. Everything has to be done by percentages and that's percentages by weight, not by volume. If I were making an ice cream without a recipe, I would start with something simple. <coughs> oh, that was like half that bottle of vanilla. Well, shall we get to it, Eugene? Yes, let's get to it, Keith. All right, bakers, in three, two, one. Try to bake. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna get, get the condensed cream. I'm gonna get the condensed cream. Yeah, too. me too. Heavy, the fattest sweetest thing. Just dairy. Yes, 100%. that's all I want. Heavy whipping cream. Coconut cream. Whole milk, not bullshit milk. And then we have a whole collection of bullshit milk for me. <laughs> I often don't crave dessert, but ice cream is something I actually seek out. My favorite ice cream flavors are Persian. I love pistachio ice cream, but one of the judges is allergic to pistachio, so I'm gonna do a general Persia-inspired dessert. Persians tend to put rose flavors and saffron in ice cream, so I'm gonna try to recreate that today. With the signature Eugene ingredient, I'm gonna top it off with a shit ton of amaretto. Uh, we do have a child judging, so I'm gonna try to burn off as much of the alcohol, but it will be alcoholic, because it's me. When I got married to my wife, Ariel, one of the gifts we got was an ice cream maker. I've made ice cream like at least three times. I will be making moose tracks, chocolate swirl situation in a bat of vanilla ice cream. Cinnamon raisin is definitely not an ice cream flavor. Maybe it's a eureka moment. Today I will be making cinnamon raisin ice cream. Didn't you already make cinnamon raisin and everything else? Yes, right? I'm Aww. doing everything for my dad this season. All cinnamon raisin all the time. Today. I'm I am making a vegan cookies and cream ice cream. Cookies and cream, my favorite ice cream, also seems kind of easy. I have to win one of the episodes. It's just like, positive regression's gotta come my way eventually. To start, the Try Guys will have 40 minutes to prepare the ice cream base. So today we're gonna be making a vanilla ice cream, but with a little bit of a twist. We're using single malt scotch. First thing we're gonna do is heat milk and cream on low until it's 95 to 100 degrees. Good ice cream is anywhere from 12 to 16% butter fat. For vanilla, I like it really rich, so we're gonna do 16% butter fat. So here's the thing, I don't think you cook Ice cream? Oh, you mean heat it up? Yeah. I'm heating this up because I have to incorporate my alcohol and try to burn it off. Should I have more milk <laughs> or more cream? I'm gonna go with more cream because who doesn't like cream? Ew. Ew you, all right? You're just well, sucking up little cow milk over there. Just... That's for their babies. Are you a baby, Ned? Doesn't ice cream need salt? How could it need salt? I don't know, I'm gonna put it in. Okay. I think you're right. Everything needs a pinch of salt. Yeah. Just a pinch. I'm just gonna go for a quarter teaspoon salt. More sugar. Oh, I love ice cream so much. Yours already tastes good. Yeah, it's, it's just nothing but sugar and cream. We're also going to whisk sugar into our egg yolks until it dissolves. You don't always have to use egg yolks in your ice cream base. They also act as a thickener and a natural stabilizer. I don't think eggs are in it unless they are, but I think that's gelato. Oh God. <laughs> My milk is Are you cooking something? sizzling. I forgot. I forgot that it was here. Oh, this is 
This is stressful. Whatever's happening over there doesn't sound good. I'm not gonna cook my milk. A big part of the ice cream making process is the heating. The fat in your cream and milk melts at a different point as the fat in the egg yolks. You wanna heat up your base to a temperature where all the fats melt. You've made ice cream? Um, I've watched my boyfriend make it. Does he heat up the milk? He's heated up, yes. But I'm not supposed to tell you that because then you're gonna know. I, but I just don't think that's right. So we're gonna slowly add the milk and cream to our egg yolks. Everything goes back into the pot and we're gonna heat this up till it's 165 degrees. Because I don't have actual milk, I'm just gonna double up on coconut cream. Oh, that made it thick with like four C's at least. Listen to this. Girl, you nasty. <laughs> This looks like vanilla ice cream. Mine doesn't need any more sugar. It's very sweet. And now I will add the rose water. Sickeningly sweet. Oh no, there's metal in my ice cream. I'm just gonna assume there's no extra shards in there. Yo, dude? Dude? Dude. Dude. This tastes you, pretty good. Can I taste, do you wanna taste mine? Yeah, I, I'll risk a fart for yours. Okay. Pretty good. I mean, it's not dairy. <laughs> Pretty good. You know, you're like right. It? Oh shit, yours is way better. That's good, right? You're right, milk is so much better. <laughs> I wonder how much alcohol I could put in this before it, it's too alcoholic. So when you're using alcohol, you wanna make sure that it's 5% or less of your total recipe. If you use too much, it might affect the freezing point and your ice cream will never freeze. Well, you're gonna have to cook it, so if, you're, if your goal is to not have much at the end, I wouldn't put more in than you need. That'll cook up. You know what, while that sizzles, I'm gonna make a little small batch of chocolate milk. Oh, f that's good. When did I cut myself? You don't want blood in your I don't want blood cream. in my ice cream, especially if a child is eating it. Can't poison the next generation. Okay, so we're at 165. We're gonna take our base off the heat and we're gonna add our vanilla infused scotch. And we're adding it now because we don't wanna heat up the alcohol too much because a lot of the vanilla flavor is contained in the alcohol. So you wanna make sure that it's no more than 5% of your whole recipe. I feel like I want a good amount of vanilla, right? Yeah, for sure, dude. One teaspoon feels good. Oh. Oh, that might have been too much. Wait, why are you whisking it? I don't know. All right. Why not? Vanilla. Oh, f <laughs> yeah. I'm not measuring anything. I think I overpoured everything. All right, I've got Reese's, mini cups, uh, semi-sweet chocolate chunks. So I'm gonna be using Oreos, which is milk's favorite cookie. Oh, <coughs> oh that was like half that bottle of vanilla. I really Oreos. don't know how much chocolate to put in. I'm putting some cardamom, just to spice it up. There you go, more flavors. All right, let's get some water. <laughs> we got lots of raisins. We got golden raisins, bam. Normal raisins, bam. Fancy golden raisins. You shouldn't have too many thing elements competing in an ice cream, too many flavors. It's kind of hard to enjoy something when a bunch of elements are competing. Me Mexican cinnamon. American cinnamon. Ooh, that's a lot of raisins. You can smell those raisins. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't know the raisins had a smell. I'm heating up my chocolate. Okay, so you're not cooking your milk. No. I've done this like once at home and it didn't really go that well. Oh, too much boiling, too much boiling. It looks beautiful. Thanks. Should I be doing that? I honestly don't know. Okay, I've got some nice warm sugar milk. Now I'm going to put my hot milk on ice to trap the bubbles and freeze them in time. I think I cooked off mostly alcohol. Well, I'm gonna put a little bit of rum in because rum raisin is a thing, so there must be a reason. Oh, this smells crazy good. So now I have hot stuff in a glass bowl on ice. And, um, and now we wait. Feels perfect. So at this point, we're gonna strain the ice cream, take out any overcooked parts. What could this be for? So I don't want all the pieces of raisins in here. A little, a little bit. I, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I'm melting the chocolate just cause, I guess. I'm going to move on to the filling, and I'm going to be playing with some Oreos. Uh, I do like okay. some, like, what do I do? I don't know what to do. Do I put more cream? Do I put more milk? Do I put more chocolate? My chocolate's melted. Is that good? Is that bad? This is fun. 
I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. How did I even get moose tracks? What even is a moose track? I got married seven years ago. I made ice cream three times. Why did I put ice cream maker on my registry? Is melted chocolate good? Ice cream, ice cream, ice cream? Ice cream? Ice cream? Ice cream? What am I doing? <laughs> am I gonna Julian Oreos? I'm just whisking this out of the idea that I should be, but we're gonna put in an ice cream mixer, so do I need to do this? There isn't much juice at all. I thought it was gonna get more juice. Maybe I should mix the fudge with the chocolate. I'm gonna say that I don't put this in the milk. I think that I make the ice cream, and then you, like, fold it. All right, so I almost forgot the saffron, which is a very expensive ingredient. I'm adding some lemon zest to the saffron just to brighten up the flavors. <laughs> Honestly, I'm just putting everything in that I think sounds fancy. Whoa, the juice looks awesome. Oh no, 103! Abort! Abort! Um, all right. I melt out the chocolate. <laughs> the next and final step, if you want to stabilize your ice cream, now would be a good time to do it. If you're making ice cream at home, there's really no need to stabilize ice cream unless you're going to keep it for more than a week. So I saw this over there, and it, this thing called xanthan gum. So I'm going to put in an eighth of a cup of xanthan gum. You can use egg yolks, you can use xanthan gum, but if you do use xanthan gum, you want to use very, very little. A quarter of a teaspoon per gallon, just because it makes your ice cream too thick, and if you use too much, it'll be gummy. I'm hoping the xanthan gum makes it nice and silky. When you get that spoon dragging across the top, it does that nice curl, and there's the little ripples in it, and it's like soft, and it's beautiful. Whoa, it smells good, dude. Thanks. Oh! oh that was hot. That was hot. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna incorporate all of my three mixtures together. Main condensed milk with all of my rose water and my cardamom and my vanilla and my amaretto. Now this is a lemon saffron reduction. I'm gonna transfer my beautiful cream mixture. One swirl. It's like it's cooling in the ice cream. This is looking like moose tracks. And I'm gonna chop up some walnuts, which are nice and buttery. Rose petals. Rose petals? Yeah, but I'm trying to chop it up a little bit finer. Well, I think roses are quite fine as they are. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, I'm, I'm done. I, I have no other ideas. I've, I've exhausted all thoughts. I just don't, I, have, I haven't the slightest idea. I've never felt more hopeless. And you've, you've watched a lot of me being pretty f***ing hopeless. No! This is garbage! What the f*** am I gonna do with this? They've met and now they're married and they're one cookie. Do we have anything that can help me? Uh, like sure, here's more sugar, great. Uh, I used the hot thing, I chopped up the Oreos. I have to win one of the episodes. Oh no, oh it's spilling, oh we're spilling. Here, let's just cool it down a little. Oh no, oh we're spilling. Oh no, oh no, oh. Okay, that's cream and ice. 10 minutes, bakers. 10 minutes? What, how am I gonna fill 10 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm dousing my roses in rose water. Maybe just like a touch of alcohol. Hey, you wanted to cook all of it out. I mean, you can't serve it to a child. You give whiskey to a baby, a little amaretto to a child. We got a bowl of kind of chocolate, kind of vanilla milk, and we've got green yep. food coloring. All right, it's time for the final sip. Reese's. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, that was kind of anticlimactic. Five minutes. Oh, f okay, we'll just put them all in. Yeah, that's how I'm, that's what I'm feeling too, dude. Yes, I did all of the food coloring. It's a nice mint color. This is definitely thicker milk. <laughs> it's Mine viscous. just looks like melted ice cream. Yours does look good. I'm kind of uh, pivoting my flavor. I'm doing kind of like a peppermint cookies and cream. It's like you spent the last 10 minutes just coming up with ideas of ways to ruin it. Three, two, one. Hands up, makers, hands up. Nice job, Zach. Thanks, High buddy. five. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa. Thanks, buddy. The ice cream base has chilled. Now it's time to churn it in the ice cream machine. All right. Hello. Here we go. Okay. Where's your cheese? Oh, Jesus. Sorry, I was getting cold feet. <laughs> Now this is giving me a lot of memories of my wedding gift. We had a little tub just like this, and we stopped using it because this is really 
quite a lot of space to keep in your freezer at all times. Oh, Eugene, yours is thick Ooh, already. Yours is beautiful, nice. actually. Oh, no. Because I whipped cream, I don't think yeah. I was supposed to do that. Is mine no. supposed to be thick? Because well, she ain't. That's kind of the whole point, I think, of this ice cream churner is to make it thick. So now that our ice cream has aged overnight, it's time to run it through the ice cream machine. This is going to go into our commercial ice cream machine for about seven minutes. It's going to freeze this barrel within this machine. This scrapes it off and reintroduces it into the mixture until all of it has formed into small, tiny, uniform ice crystals. And that's essentially what ice cream is. I'm just gonna pour mine in. Okay, we can just pour right in the Ready? top. Three, two, two one. ice cream. Such a satisfying sound. Oh, yeah. That's got a lot of chunks in it. All right, guys, you ready to turn yeah. these on and let them churn for 30 minutes? Mm -hmm. Three, Three, two, one. Right when it comes out of the ice cream machines, my favorite texture. In Italy, this is what they would call gelato. This is what you're served. So this is gonna go directly into the coldest freezer possible. Wow. Oh. Look at this. Okay. Ooh, we got ice cream. cream. We got ice cream. I don't have ice it's cream. It's gooey. Yours looks very similar. Keith has ice cream. I have ice cream. It oh. must be the xanthan gum, because that's the only thing I did different serve. from all of you. Yeah. It's time for the guys to add their toppings to the ice cream. The main base is a cookies and cream ice cream, but I've added some peppermint for a little flavor of stank. I got some peanut butter in there. I think there's some milk chocolate and I don't remember the rest. So it's not vegan. It's a mostly dairy-free ice cream. That's a big win. I'm adding my moose tracks, which are Reese's peanut butter cups, as well as strands of semi-sweet chocolate. I'm gonna add my chopped up rose petals, flavored slightly with a little amaretto mm. and rose water. Wow. I am going to add in some uh, uh, chopped up walnuts, mini raisins, some more cinnamon, because I feel like it doesn't have enough cinnamon still. <laughs> well, mine's so thick it won't spin. I might have to just do it by hand. <laughs> it doesn't spin. As far as texture in ice cream, too much stabilizer will make ice cream really gummy and thumpy. Mine's stretchier than I thought. It's so stretchy. I mean, it's not right. There's something about this is wrong. <laughs> you don't want to have to chew your ice cream. Really chewy. <laughs> it's a chewy ice cream. Chewy ice cream. It's confusing. It should be smooth, the smallest ice crystals as possible. Semi-solid for the duration that you're eating it. You don't want it to melt too fast. Mine's melting immediately. Oh my God. It's immediately soup. I think I've already lost. Mine no. doesn't look like ice cream. It just looks like it's wet, melted ice cream. Remember, Eugene's gonna sit in the freezer overnight. Freeze well, see you tomorrow night. Let's cut to some penguins. The guys also made their own waffle cones in a video coming January. It's a cone. Yeah. Stay tuned for a bonus episode of Without a Recipe. I can't wait. We're gonna be judging on presentation, taste, creativity, and is it ice cream? I love my ice cream sweet. I feel like all these people are trying to make healthy ice cream alternatives and it's just not gonna work. Taste rules everything and texture's huge with ice cream. It's smooth and not like gritty or icy. I think you just don't want that icy taste. I'm definitely looking for the perfect texture, really creamy, something rich, and something that is not too melty and not too frozen, something in between. All right, judges, I am very pleased to present to you my Canadian Moose Tracks ice cream. You're gonna find fudge, chocolate, and a little bit of Reese's peanut butter cups. Presentation, it looks good. I mean, it looks freckled. I can't tell what it is other than it looks like vanilla with chocolate. It's a little melty, but obviously that's just because we're in a room temperature habitat. <laughs> habitat. I think it looks very appetizing. The freckling is, yeah. looks really good. So let's taste it. Oh, wow. That's nice. Yeah. Big buddy. <laughs> that's a happy boy face. Oh, that's a happy boy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This tastes like my childhood. Mm hmm. Oh my God. That's really good. That's really good. It's very creamy and just decadent. Definitely sweet, but then again, it's a candy flavored ice cream, so it's expected. I think it could have been more creative. There are versions of this, I know, in 
ice cream shops and grocery stores. Yeah, I, I don't think it's creative, but in this circumstance, I'm not mad about it. Well, is it ice cream? It's yeah. definitely ice cream. Like 100%. Okay. This, this is ice cream. Oh, man. Thank you, Thank you judges. You're Thank you, judges. Thoroughly <laughs> positive. Wow. It's ever, we've ever had. It's too positive. Okay, judges, I am proud to present my ice cream. I call it a Persian Rosaretto. It is Amaretto, sorry, Jamie. Rose water, sorry, Jamie. Saffron, sorry, Jamie. And uh, cardamom, sorry, Jamie. You just unfortunately cannot eat this ice cream. So sorry. Well, it's beautiful. It looks a little icy. But I like the color. Yeah, like that's, yeah, a, yeah. that's an appetizing color. I yeah. love how it came with the yeah. baby rose. So anxious to taste. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> I don't really taste too much of the saffron because the cardamom is just so strong. Yeah, it is strong. I think I want like some texture in it, like something crunchy. It's really hard to actually make ice cream with alcohol because alcohol decreases the freezing point. It was hard to churn. Yeah, it probably took it forever to freeze, didn't it? It's because of the alcohol. It's an acquired taste. I personally like it, but I can see how it doesn't really reach a broad spectrum of people. Would you be able to sell this in your store? I've served way weirder things than this. I definitely I think this would pass in my store. I get it, uh, but it's not for me. But I get it. No, I love this. Dude, that's crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Your reaction was so muted. That's insane. Yeah, texture's bad, but flavor's good. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat the rose. Something He's eating the rose. He's eating the rose. And he? Is this actually a plant? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and it's edible, these roses. Not all roses are edible, but these are. I would give it a 10 for creativity, very wow. creative. Some points for creativity because it comes with an edible flower and this is the only thing that I can eat. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to answer the question of, is it ice cream? You knew that an 11 year old was going to be judging this episode and yet you continue to put heavy amounts of alcohol. So your answer to, is it ice cream? It's no, no. ice cream is for everybody. Galaxy brain. <sighs> I think it's ice cream. Yeah, I definitely think it's ice cream. This is ice cream in other parts of the world. This is a common, typical flavor. <laughs> hey, what would we have to do if we let Jamie eat the ice cream? We'd have to cardamom. <laughs> yes! All right, Zach, you're up, baby. Thanks, everybody. This is yes. <laughs> Now, judges, unlike some contestants today, I had the children fully in mind. Bring you back to childhood, where monsters and goblins are real. This is ice cream that's so delicious it's scary. Vegan cookies and scream ice cream. It looks like a mistake. No, 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 very purposeful. I want you to think back to Halloween. It's spooky ice cream. It looks like, what is it, wheatgrass? The stuff that you do a shot of? Yeah. I think its presentation matches its name. It definitely looks vegan. Um. <laughs> not, the not the scream part, though. Why is it chocolate so minty? Because for the holidays, I added little hints of peppermint. It's cookies and cream with peppermint. It tastes like mint chocolate chip. Yeah, it's mint, did I not say that? <laughs> it's mint chocolate chip cookies and cream. With that's peanut I, butter. That's why it's green. Yeah, it's a little crumbly. Yeah. It's like straight ice. Super icy. Unique. Thank you. I like that I can't taste coconut. I try vegan ice cream. If it's coconut that you're using and you don't taste coconut, that's a, like a success for me. Cool. Yeah, I did a combo of coconut and oat milk. It tastes like you took all your Halloween candy and put it in a Christmas flavored dessert. That sounds better than yeah. it is. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. Thank you. Spooky. <laughs> Let's talk about creativity. Though. Yeah, it's creative because it's green. I think texturally it's just not good, but taste isn't bad. What are some of the challenges of making vegan ice cream delicious? Upping the fat, like making up for what you can't do with non-dairy stuff. And you have to get creative with the fat because then again, everything's coconut based. Everything tastes like coconut, kind of gets redundant. Hmm. <laughs> Wow, it's an assault. <laughs> Do you really think so? Yeah, it's yeah. the peppermint. I, like I think the peppermint's a little much. I think you needed to take away one mix-in. Mm. So you mean the way that I had it before they told me I had 20 minutes left and I just started bullshitting around. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah, it would have been better. Is it ice cream? If this yeah. is ice cream, then I would just say everything frozen is ice cream. And I don't yeah. think that's true. Yeah, because there are so many chunks in it, I couldn't taste the ice cream as well. Bummer. <laughs> <laughs> My father 
Donald Habersberger every morning has Raisin Bran for breakfast. To honor my father, Donald Habersberger, I present you with my cinnamon raisin walnut ice cream. It is called Daddy's Favorite. It looks pretty plain, but you know, who said ice cream can't be plain? Thank you. I don't think it looks that bad compared to the last two we had in terms of iciness. And I think the touch of walnuts is gonna be a nice surprise. And it's daddy's favorite. <laughs> My dad loves walnuts, he loves raisin bran, he loves cinnamon raisin cookies. All right, let's try daddy's favorite. <laughs> oh God. Mmm. <laughs> It's very creamy. Is it thick? It looks very thick. Very yeah. thick. The thickness is uh, in honor of my mother who loves hard ice cream. I thought you were like about to say melt. your mom was thick. <laughs> no. That's a weird texture. Mm -hmm. It feels What's like that I'm texture? chewing it. Yeah. I kind of like it. It's, it's like texture. gummy, Is I would say. Yeah. That's the Let's texture. Let's focus on the like flavor. Gummy. You're really only talking about But the texture. gumminess takes over. This might be the only ice cream I kind of candy. Mm -hmm. Like it's like after it's it weird. Like, that texture is weird. It's very filling. It was um stabilized with like either flour or just zant that gum. Zant yeah. that gum. It's like too much it's that too or much. something. What do we think about the creativity of the ice cream? I think it's very creative. I cereal milk is like a mm -hmm. thing. And I like the fact that it's daddy's favorite. <laughs> Yes, same. I can't, you guys, it's not creative. I mean, it's just- What do you mean it's not creative? It's like, Have you ever had cinnamon raisin ice cream before in your life? The milk of that would be good, yeah. but not when it's gummy and it tastes yeah. like nothing and I don't well, want to- Okay, so the mouth. execution was bad. What think about the creativity and the idea? It still doesn't work. I, I'd say it's a thick ice cream. I think it's more like frozen pudding. It's not ice it's cream. It's not melting. Too. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not melting. Great. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Uh, I'm sorry, have you been to Dairy Queen? <laughs> <laughs> it's gross. <Ooh. laughs> How is it gross? It's a big texture thing. It's a big texture it, it, thing. And it was so, like, definitely dense. It really just sort of envelops the tongue like a more of a chokehold. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like chowder. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, uh, this was enlightening. What twists? What a, a crazy panel. Seems like it's a race towards last place. <laughs> Four ice creams that the judges loved equally will now find out which was their favorite. Who knows? It's anyone's game. Stay tuned. It's without a recipe. Here's some penguins. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna deliberate about which ice cream was the worst and which ice cream is the best or least worst. We liked Ned's to a certain extent. I think texture-wise and taste-wise, it was pretty up there. But one of the criteria we're judging on is creativity, and I think it was probably the least creative. Next to Eugene's. I think creativity, it's fine. It's better, like it's something. The cardamom was a little strong for me. I'd like to taste more of the rose. Yeah. One third of the judges couldn't have the ice cream. And the roses that I ate next to the ice cream, they weren't good. Keith's was Gum. I think it's just the thickness and the cream just sticks to your tongue and you just mm. can't get it off. After like we tasted it, I started to feel like I had glue in my mouth. Yeah. At least this, like if you can have like a few spoonfuls and be like, okay, the flavor's good and like they blend well, even though the texture's not great. So then Zach's. I think he was going for something creative, but it just fell flat. There were too many things happening at one time. I think if he didn't have the food coloring, I would have appreciated the ingredients like a little more maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is an unappetizing color. So, I think we have... Okay, I think we do too. Yeah. yeah. We're back to tell the Try Guys our final verdict. You know what hurts the most? We were all so confident. <laughs> Jessica came in and we said, Jessica, we did it. This is the first time that we've made four great things. <laughs> we, all, we all believed in ourselves. We believed in each other. I'm so surprised yeah. with the turn of events. We are going to actually present who is first. Then we'll go backwards and reveal who's the worst. Will Zach get last place again? Will Keith finally make his daddy proud? Will Ned continue his hot streak? Is Eugene drunk? Who could it be? The suspense is killing us. <clears throat> the winner yeah. of the ice cream without a recipe challenge. Quit teasing us. Is. Yeah, yeah, he's making eye contact with me. Ned! Yay! What? Yay! Yay! Wow. Thank you! I can't Thank you. believe it! Yes, ice cream! Yeah. All aspects of technicality, it was executed well in terms of taste, texture, and can I eat the whole scoop? Yes. 
Uh, I'm at second best. Second best. Second best. Okay. Eugene. Really? Yeah. Jamie, really? How did I get second place? The other two were worse. Uh, yeah, the other two were just really bad. You didn't even try it. You couldn't even have it. How could you even have a vote? So mine was no, the lesser of three evils. Mm -hmm. We yeah. liked it. For she doesn't love close. cardamom. Yeah, it, for me it was close. I'm just not a cardamom fan. Yeah. It was pretty. It's a pretty little ice cream. Was mine not pretty, Jamie? <laughs> Did you not find it pretty? You didn't find it pretty, Jamie? Was it not pretty? Not pretty enough for you, Jamie? Sorry. It's come down to two. I feel uncomfortable. I just want you to know that I'm emotionally fragile, but please go ahead. Okay. So, it was pretty close. It was not unanimous. Coming in at last place is Keith. <laughs> I just put in too much xanthan gum. I've never used it before in my life. Oh, I, even, I didn't even know it was supposed to go in or not. I just guessed. You know, we asked ourselves a question. Can you eat one bite of each? Yes. Can you eat a second bite of each? Uh, that's where Keith came in last place. I ate lots of Keiths. Boom. Keith, you're first last place. Daddy's not going <laughs> to Daddy's not going to like this. Thanks for watching Without a Recipe. I wasn't good, but I somehow wasn't the best. A hollow victory, but I'll take it. Stay tuned for next week's grand finale, birthday cake. It's been Without a Recipe. Bye-bye. You don't have to do Daddy's favorite every time, Keith. Oh, I'm doing Daddy's favorite every time. <laughs> Next time on the Without a Recipe finale. Happy birthday! Oh my god! This is certainly my finest work on Without a Recipe.